the coolest space fact I know. All the ingredients for making a beer are just sitting in interstellar space. My name is Roger Dean. I'm a professor of astrophysics. I'm also the SKA chair in radio astronomy here at WITS and director of the recently established WITS Centre for Astrophysics. As far back as I can remember, I've been really, really interested and passionate about astronomy. I, I grew up in the Free State where we had beautiful night skies and I can remember lying on my back on our trampoline and looking up. I guess it's just, it's, it's it's so embedded in who we are, gathering around the campfire, whether you did that 10,000 years ago or whether you do it now. There's always the sky up above. But it wasn't clear to me that that could be a career path. It was always just an interest. I actually started looking around and I realized, wow, there are some astrophysics courses uh, on offer here. And it's exactly the kinds of things I've always been interested in. I can actually pursue this. And one thing led to the other and suddenly I was doing a doctorate. Much in the way that we, we observe stars with our eyes and you know we can observe the beautiful images that the, the Hubble Space Telescope captures of our universe, you could also observe some startling and remarkable phenomena at wavelengths that our eyes are not sensitive to. So radio astronomy is essentially capturing light that uh, we cannot see, but antennas can capture. In simple terms, a black hole is a region of space-time from which nothing, including light, can escape. It's not that simple. They're at the extreme of physics in terms of gravity crushing in on itself. It's crushing space-time and distorting it to what might be a singularity. You have an idea from scientific simulations that are well-founded on the physics we understand. You understand the optics of the global telescope that's been put together and you think you know what you might see. But when it emerges, it's just remarkable. And that's not just a photograph of a black hole, it's, it's scientific endeavor in general for me. Whenever I see something for the first time, and I know I'm the only person that's seen it, whether it's you know just a new radio galaxy that's sitting in the corner of the image that's never been spotted before, it's, it, it's why I do science, and it's why I love what I do. The one that I found the most hilarious was um, what Brexit looks like from space. Uh, I'm South African, but I, I lived in the UK for three years, and if I lived there now, I would certainly have been a Remainer. <laughs> I'm exceptionally interested in whether there might be other life forms in the universe, and I find it hard to believe that there aren't. But that's, that's belief. We don't have any proof yet of, of life beyond our solar system. But I find that's one of the things that most intrigues me about space. No. <laughs> I'm not allowed to. I have a young family, and I've been given strict orders that I'm not to leave the planet under any circumstances. But it is a, a great dream of mine to be at least in orbit around this planet, if not another. I'll never forget watching Interstellar a few years ago. It has particular significance for me. I was actually at a meeting, it was the first time I'd attended the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration Meeting. This is the team that made the first image of a black hole and it just so happened that Interstellar had just come out and we, we watched together one night. So the, the context of that made the movie even more powerful, had more, even more of an impression on me, and that really, really made an impact. One of the projects I'm working on at the moment is an attempt to make the most distant detections of neutral hydrogen gas in galaxies. We're doing that because we're trying to understand how this neutral hydrogen gas evolves in galaxies over cosmic time. So we're trying to push the frontier closer to the Big Bang. To young students, I would advise that 
and really encourage you to, to really look out for the opportunities that are available to you. Keep your eyes open, ask questions. Just in my field of astronomy, one of the biggest scientific infrastructures on the planet is being built in our backyard. It couldn't be a better time to pursue astronomy as a career.